Often, when discussing the creatures that live under the sea, people talk about how big and scary they can be. We're guilty of it as well. But the fact of the matter is, not all sea creatures are monsters at all. These are the 20 friendliest sea creatures around the world. Number 20. Stingrays Okay, so perhaps not the most friendly of all the sea creatures, given the fact that they can kill you, but apparently stingrays aren't all bad. There are a few things to remember if you do happen to be in the water with stingrays. They usually only sting if they feel threatened, or if you accidentally step on one. Basically, it seems as though divers are most likely to be stung by a ray if they swim directly above one and block its path of escape. This is obviously something that makes a stingray especially nervous, and its self-preservation instincts will kick in. Otherwise, swimming with stingrays is an activity that many diving enthusiasts have found to be extremely pleasant indeed. Well, it is all fun and games until someone gets dead, isn't it? So, the advice is, if you want to see the friendly side of a stingray's personality, rather than the deadly bits, then shuffle when you get into the water and avoid stomping on one. Don't swim directly above them, it's seen as aggressive, and just try to remember that these are wild animals, and they might do something surprising, even if you think they are cute. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Dolphins Well, I'm sorry to shatter your illusions, but dolphins may be up to more than they appear to be. Yes, they can definitely act friendly and cute when they're around humans, we've all seen Flipper. But don't let your guard down. They're friendly, but they're also incredibly intelligent, and that means they're up to a lot more than just looking cute and smiling. <laughs> like many of the other intelligent animals, dolphins are social creatures, and that's a big part of how they become so smart. They learn new skills, and then they pass them on to each other. They all get smarter together. This shared culture of passing down skills is definitely something that makes dolphins amongst the most intelligent of marine mammals on Earth. Scientists love to study the behavior of dolphins. I mean, they are pretty cute and fun to watch, so of course they do. This means that there's a whole load of information that's been gathered about how dolphins learn and interact. It turns out that these guys are capable of solving some tricky problems. They're also able to work together. And you know how two brains are better than one, right? Their social interactions are apparently bolstered by their ability to use a complex communication system, and they can even understand abstract concepts. Perhaps we should keep an eye on these guys. If any animals are capable of planning world domination, it is the dolphin, and we never even see it coming. Number 18. Shark swims up to Diver for a cuddle every time she sees him. Being best friends with a shark isn't without its difficulties, but who are we to judge of other people's choice of friends? Rick Anderson is a man who has to pop on some diving gear and head into the ocean whenever he wants to see his pal. It doesn't sound too difficult, really. Mine is two plane rides away. So a quick dip in the ocean sounds kind of straightforward. Anyways, sad crying aside, this dude's friend just happens to be a six-foot-long Port Jackson shark that lives in the waters off the coast of Nobby's Beach in Australia's New South Wales. She's been hanging out with Anderson since she was a teeny-weeny six-inch-long baby shark. Although his friend doesn't have a name, Anderson recognizes her by her markings, and she recognizes him swimming up to greet him whenever he visits. The shark has been allowing Anderson to chat with her although he may be somewhat tricky to understand through his oxygen regulator. But perhaps this beautiful friendship is about more than words. What do you think about this unusual friendship? Can humans actually be friends with sharks? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Number 17. Scuba Diver Plays With Sea Lions 
Now this is not really a recommended activity, sorry to be a safety nerd, but fiddling around with wild animals is potentially super dangerous and can get very bitey very quickly. This scuba diving woman did not get the memo, however, so when she encountered a gang of Stellar's sea lions in the waters off the coast of Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada, well, she got stuck in and had some fun. In fairness, sea lions can be very friendly, and they can certainly be a lot of fun, but humans can unknowingly disrupt the connection between a young sea lion pup and its family, which could put the baby animal in danger. Wild sea lions, like many other animals, use their sense of smell to locate and recognize each other, and if you begin rubbing your sweaty human stink all over them, their family may reject them on account of your whiff. And I know that you wouldn't want to be responsible for that, now would you? Apart from anything else, if that sea lion follows you home, where would you actually keep it? Number 16. A diver is greeted by a playful seal. So it is true seals are sometimes friendly, but you should still be careful not to upset a mother seal as she may be protecting her baby and you should definitely be careful not to interfere with a little one in case you disrupt its scent. Beyond that, sometimes there's no way around it. Seals are going to come and get involved with you, whether they're invited or not. This seal has more than just a little bit of dog about it, as it plays with a man in the water around the Farne Islands in the UK. Number 15. Beluga whale retrieves phone after woman accidentally drops it in the ocean. Now I know that whales are extraordinarily intelligent mammals, but this surely takes things to a whole new level. Dropping your phone over the side of a boat into the deep ocean below is usually a strong signifier that you won't see that particular piece of tech again. Usually before it has hit the bottom, a lobster will have gotten a hold of it and be walking around the ocean floor taking selfies with his buddies. You know what those guys are like. But one Norwegian woman on a tour boat was about to experience the weirdest and perhaps luckiest moment of her life. After dropping her phone overboard, she no doubt went through the standard range of associated emotions. You know, irritation, sadness, resignation, and then probably a sprinkling of FOMO when she couldn't check her Instagram for a bit. But then suddenly, out of the blue, rises up a beautiful beluga whale, and she's about to get YouTube famous. This remarkable mammal is a treat to behold all by herself, but when the people on the boat realize that she's also carrying the lost phone, they really can't believe it. And you probably wouldn't believe it either if someone hadn't managed to capture the whole thing on video. Number 14. Marine biologist says a humpback whale saved her from a shark. Even the most experienced of whale researchers was left unnerved and a little puzzled by a very close encounter with a large humpback whale. The jury's still out on the huge creature's intentions, but Nan Hauser, the biologist who experienced this incredible encounter, has made up her mind. The whale was trying to save her life. During a trip to the Cook Islands in the South Pacific, Hauser was swimming with whales in order to study their behavior. They don't usually get quite so up close and personal, though. The extraordinary encounter began with the whale nudging at Hauser with his closed mouth, pushing her along and eventually tucking her under his fin and pushing her onto his back. Hauser was a bit terror-stricken and didn't know what to make of the whale's unusual behavior. She was genuinely fearful that she could die. I mean, these things are massive, powerful creatures that can dispense with a skinny lady with the single bat of a flipper, so it is a suitable fear. The footage that she had shot during the encounter offered some clues to the whale's motives. Amongst the other whales that were visible in the water behind, there was also a tiger shark swimming nearby. Hauser's convinced that the humpback whale was trying to save her from the danger posed by the shark. It's not unusual for whales to display protective behaviors towards other whales and even towards other species. There are examples of them saving seals and sea lions as well. Number 13. 
penguin swims 5,000 miles every year for a reunion with the man who saved its life. Back in 2011, a little penguin would be caught in an oil spill in the waters off the Brazilian coast near Rio de Janeiro. The bird found his way to land and was discovered by a man in his backyard at the edge of the beach. The penguin was completely coated in oil and could hardly move when he was rescued. His 71-year-old rescuer, a retired mason named Pereira de Souza, cleaned the bird's feathers and took care of him for the days that followed, feeding the penguin sardines and keeping watch over him as he recovered. He would name the little bird Din Dim. When Din Dim was strong enough, de Souza took him to a nearby island where penguins are known to go and then released him. It was later that same day that D'Souza was surprised to hear a squeaking noise in his backyard, discovering that Din Dim had returned and was calling out for him. This is the trouble, you know. Once you've named a penguin, you have to keep it. That's the rules. So the penguin stayed and lived in that guy's garden for months until he eventually went off to do whatever it is that penguins do. But then, he came back and continues to come back every year, returning in June and staying until February, like an old friend that's been sleeping on your couch for three months, only cuter. Number 12, Manatees, Gentle Giants. Manatees truly are peace-loving and calm marine mammals. They're happy to coexist with many other creatures, and luckily for humans, that includes us. Manatees will often be curious to investigate when they encounter a diver. These extraordinary animals spend most of their lives swimming to and grazing on water grasses and sea vegetation, and this likely gives you a clue about their gentle temperament. It's true that these pacifists are not exactly known to attack or harm any other living thing, the only thing that's risky when rubbing a manatee's belly is that they could just squash you with love. And these guys get pretty big indeed, so you definitely don't want to find yourself on the underside of a manatee. Like so many of our most beautiful animals, manatees are at risk from human behaviors, and they're often curious about humans in boats and will frequently get into difficulty around a propeller. This can cause dreadful injuries, so if you happen to motorboat in an area where manatees reside, just watch where you're poking that thing. Number 11. Manta Rays According to many experts, manta rays are not dangerous to humans, and it's quite possible to spend time in the water with these beautiful creatures. In fact, there are plenty of people out there who are firm believers in the friendliness of these fish. They may indeed be friendly, but don't forget that mantas are also extremely big. They regularly measure between 4 and 6 meters across, and that alone can be kind of intimidating when you find yourself in the water with them, especially if there happens to be a whole gang of them swimming around you. Of course, this is also what would make this an amazing experience if you could only hold it together, that is. Although manta rays do have teeth, they're actually only in their lower jaw and are used primarily for chewing food. They're in the same group of animals as sharks, and these fish also have a completely different personality type. It's generally believed that they are harmless to humans and may even show some curiosity when swimming up close, but be polite, please. Even though they are gentle, if you keep on poking a manta ray, he could bite you, even if all the advertising says that he won't. Number 10. Whale Shark Whale sharks are not in any way aggressive animals, but they can grow to colossal sizes. And like any big animal, that's what makes them dangerous, even if they're also seemingly friendly. I mean, an overenthusiastic hug from a whale shark could render a human quite flat or possibly even result in a drowning, and nobody wants that now, do they? The thing is that every part of the big old whale shark is, well, big. That includes its tail, so a friendly encounter with one might wind up getting quite a powerful swaddling from their titanic tail. So you should watch out if you happen to be fortunate enough to swim alongside these marine creatures. The whale shark can grow to somewhere between 18 and 40 feet long. The largest ever recorded was an astonishing 61.7 feet. And there's their weight. 
And these are some big bone beasts indeed. The average whale shark weighs between 50 to 20 tons, and they look to be about the same sort of size as a city bus. So, if you need a little perspective on the matter, then there you go. Number 9. Sea Turtles Sea turtles are super cute and they don't pose a danger to humans, unless you were to get too close and make them nervous, that is. In which case you can expect a bite from these guys, and you probably deserve it as well, to be fair. That's going to be a pretty painful bite as these animals can really nip. That's one reason that you really shouldn't touch a sea turtle, even if they do seem friendly. It's actually also kind of dangerous to the turtle to be fondled by your gross germ-covered human paws. People can transfer harmful bacteria to sea creatures like turtles, sharks, and rays if they're touched, so keep all the petting for the guinea pigs and leave those marine animals out of it. The general rule here is to look but not touch, especially when it comes to baby sea turtles. These little guys are actually protected by federal and state laws, and it's illegal to touch, move, or disturb them in any way at all. To interfere with them will also seriously diminish their chances of survival, so just stop it. Get yourself a twinkle. Well, a regular guinea pig. Twinkle's obviously unique, and she's mine, and you can't have her. Number 8. Hammerhead Sharks even though hammerheads are sharks, they don't fall into that category of beach-clearing hysteria and other species of these animals. The hammerhead is a relatively harmless kind of shark, and it will likely as not leave you alone rather than attempt to either attack you or to smooch you. Unless, of course, you're a stingray, in which case they're going to eat you. And there's not a whole lot you'll be able to do about it. The hammerhead shark is generally one of the smaller sorts of shark, so any interactions with humans are relatively uneventful. They do, occasionally, however, grow to be pretty large, and like any wild animal, they can be aggressive and unpredictable. But if you're curious and respectful, any meeting between a human and a hammerhead shouldn't end in tears. Just don't go poking your fingers in their mouth or anything like that, please. Number 7. The Pacific Grey Whale The Pacific Grey Whale is a really intelligent creature, not to mention a beautiful mammal. Oh, and they're also absolutely massive. These whales are extremely popular with tourists looking for an up-close and personal experience with one of the largest creatures on the planet, as they're fairly curious and will often come to investigate whale-watching boats. Well, <laughs> I don't know, but all this chatter about wild animals being friendly is just the tiniest bit problematic. Although there are certainly plenty of animals who are able to not eat humans or start fights on sight, it also seems as though perhaps we should just leave a lot of them in peace. Why are we so obsessed with clambering into their personal space and poking around in their faces and whatnot? That goes in particular for the gray whale, a majestic sea creature that was once hunted to the verge of extinction by profit-hungry humans with dubious principles. So after all that, don't these mammals serve to be allowed quiet enjoyment in the ocean without being prodded and fondled by every passing person? I'm just saying. What do you think? Should we be all up in the Pacific Grey Whale's face? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 6. Caribbean Reef Octopus one of the most intelligent of all the known invertebrates, the Caribbean Reef Octopus is a master of disguise that can change color in an instant to blend in perfectly with their surroundings. When they're camouflaged, these animals are almost impossible to see, so just how people get the opportunity to encounter one and make friends is a bit of a mystery. And frankly, as the main risk to the survival of this species is habitat loss, as a result of human activity, it's a wonder that these octopus have any tolerance for humans at all, let alone a friendly and approachable sort of personality, but here they are on our list of the friendliest sea creatures in the world. Mainly found in the shallow waters of the Caribbean, Florida, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Bahamas, oh, and even in the western part of the Atlantic Ocean as well as the Pacific, given their habitat of hiding as well as their so-called shy personalities, their solitary lifestyles, and kind of aggressively territorial behavior, I wouldn't be going around around attempting to hug one of these things anytime soon. If you do start trying to buddy up with one of these sea creatures, they're quite likely to give you the what for and to send you packing. 
Number 5. Amazon Pink River Dolphin the largest and most clever of all freshwater dolphins, the Amazon Pink River Dolphin can change its color and even blush, a bit like humans do. These dolphins are actually born gray, like most other of their species, but then they slowly turn pink as they grow up. Kind of the opposite to humans who start off one color and often go gray as they get older. These creatures can grow up to 9 feet and weigh anywhere to 400 pounds, often living as long as 30 years. The males of the species are a stronger pink color than their female counterparts, and what exactly causes this is still being figured out, but it's believed that it may have something to do with external factors like their diet and the way they interact. The fighting in which they participate causes scar tissue that may affect their overall coloration. And much like other dolphins, their intelligence makes them particularly appealing to humans looking for wildlife interactions with social creatures. But like other dolphins, their intelligence and ability to work together through communication with one another should give any other creature a second's pause even us humans. If there were ever candidates for plotting world domination, it's these guys. Seriously, they may be smiling, but these animals have a lot more going on in their noggins than we give them credit for. Number 4. Otters not only are sea otters intensely cute animals, but they're also extremely important to the ecosystems in which they live. There are 13 different species of otter around the world, with two being native to the waters in the United States. Those are the sea otter and the North American river otter. Approximately 90% of all the world's sea otters actually live in coastal Alaska, and as a result of being mercilessly hunted to the brink of extinction in the past, they're now protected by U.S. and international laws. Otters are carnivorous and eat a diet primarily composed of sea urchins, crabs, mussels, and clams, and these clever creatures are also adept at using tools to open up their food, which is lucky, as they need to eat 25% of their own body weight in food every day just to survive life in the frigid waters. Just how friendly these animals are depends on a whole lot of factors, and while they're definitely awesome to watch, it's generally a good idea to keep your distance, especially if they have young nearby. Like all wild animals, otters can be territorial and extremely protective of their babies, so don't go around poking them even if they are just too adorable. Number 3. Orcas the orca is somewhat unfairly also known as the killer whale. This super clever mammal is not a real threat to humans at all. In fact, there are actually no recorded attacks of orcas on humans in the wild, so it seems a pretty inaccurate name, but it makes these big creatures sound scary anyways. Although, if you're a sea-dwelling creature and this incredible sea monster is hungry, well, the orca is a member of the dolphin family, so they live in pods or social groups just like dolphins do, and they're really sociable creatures, having a whole bunch of different ways to communicate with each other. Like dolphins, orcas make different sounds that are used to interact with other orcas, and they use echolocation, which is where they make sounds that travel underwater and bounce off of objects. The orcas can then tell how far away, how big, and what shape something is. Now that is super clever, and an efficient way to find their prey. It is an amazingly strong predator with a wicked set of skills that makes them perfectly equipped to hunt and thrive in the oceans around the world. Orcas do enjoy a wide range of different prey. They are definitely killers in that sense. At the top of the food chain, they'll hunt anything from fish and squid to penguins, seals, and seabirds. And they're also pretty partial to the occasional whale. The orca sure does have a big appetite. Number 2. Divers off Portugal dwarfed by massive sunfish. Some of the weirdest looking of our sea monsters, the ocean sunfish is a massive tailless fish with huge fins often found floating on its side. But unlike your goldfish, that doesn't mean it's at death's door. 
that's actually soaking up some rays at the surface, hence the name sunfish. Their massive dorsal fin gives plenty of people a bit of a fright as they're often mistaken for sharks when they pop up to the surface for a spot of sunbathing. The heaviest of all the bony fish out there, the ocean sunfish can weigh as much as 5,000 pounds. This is as heavy as a small hippopotamus. To get to this size, ocean sunfish need to eat a lot. Weirdly, their favorite food is jellyfish. And because jellyfish are mainly made of low-calorie plain old water, these guys have to eat tons of them. Sadly, with all the plastic garbage that's floating in the world's oceans these days, sunfish often mistakenly eat plastic bags, which look a lot like jellyfish when they're floating in the sea. This is now one of the biggest risks to the shrinking population of these fish. They're considered vulnerable in the wild, and the poor old sunfish might not be as sexy as a shark or as majestic as a whale. And it's definitely not the prettiest fish on the planet, but even floating blobs like this guy deserve a chance. Number 1. Scuba Diver Found a Good Friend Under the Sea not an obvious choice for a best friend, but hey, it takes all sorts, so stop being so judgy, please. This scuba diver from Japan first met this Asian sheep's head wrasse in the waters of an underwater Shinto temple located about 56 feet beneath the surface. An unusual beginning for a friendship, but then again, don't knock it. You never know where or when you might meet your soulmate. If you're lucky enough to have a friendship like this one, which has lasted 30 years, then you're one of the very fortunate people out there. Even if your pal lives under the sea and is a massive headed fish, these two have grown old together. The diver, Arakawa, is now 79 years old, and the big fish known as Yuriko must be over 30 at the very least. Now, this friendship does occasionally take the leap beyond the purely platonic, as Arakawa confesses that he has kissed his friend, but it does take all sorts now, doesn't it? Well, that was quite the romp through the world's oceans. I thoroughly enjoyed all the friendliness, didn't you? One can never have enough friendliness, if you ask me, even if that does mean smooching a shark or hugging a hammerhead. Have you ever met an unusually friendly sea creature? Which one from our list is your favorite? Tell me all about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.